In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the MasterCard logo using Adobe Illustrator. To get started, simply head over to Illustrator and create yourself a new file. I'm going to use um, the dimensions of 800 by 800 pixels. And under the advanced options at the bottom of this panel, change the color mode to CMYK color and the raster effects to high quality. That just gets your um, page set up ready for high quality printing. Click on create and you'll end up with a empty white canvas appearing on your screen and that's the space that we're going to use to draw our logo today. Now the first thing we're going to be drawing in our logo today are these two big circles. To do that in Illustrator you simply head to your toolbox on the left hand side of the page and look for this ellipse tool. It's hiding under the rectangle tool so just hold your left mouse button down on the rectangle tool to expand the menu and select the ellipse tool or you can just press the letter L for the shortcut key. To draw the ellipse, there's a few ways to do it. You could simply just draw it on the page like so. You could hold shift and then draw it on the page. By clicking and dragging your mouse, that'll give you a perfect circle. Or, to be a bit more specific, click once on your page. And it will allow you to type in the dimensions of your ellipse. So I'm going to type in 300 by 300. And click OK, and that will give you a perfect circle on your page. Next thing you need to do is just change the colors of that circle. So head over to your Properties panel here on the right hand side of your page. You can go to your Window menu and select Properties if you can't see that panel. And under the Appearance section, simply turn your stroke off by hitting that box with the red line going through it. The stroke is just the border or the outline of the shape. And the fill, we're going to change to CMYK Red, so this little red swatch here. If you prefer to use the Color Mixer, you can play around with these sliders and just set them to zero. 100%, 100%, and 0%. Okay, that's the first circle done. All you need to do now with the ellipse tool still selected is click in the white section somewhere on the page and draw yourself another 300 by 300 pixel ellipse. This time though we're going to change the fill color to an orangey color. Now you could choose one of the oranges that you see here in the swatches panel. Okay, these are pretty close to what MasterCard uses, but I'm going to go to the color mixer and just set it up. To the exact color MasterCard uses, so the boxes will be 0%, 45%, 100%, and 0%. And that will give you the orangey color that they use in the MasterCard logo. Alright, next thing we need to do is get them aligned properly. So if we go back and look at the original, you can see that the two circles are side by side with this center section overlapping. Okay, so what I like to do here is just highlight both circles, and in the Properties panel you'll see the Align section. I'm just going to click both the horizontal align center and vertical align center to put both circles um, smack bang in the same position. So the orange one is currently on top of the red one. Using my selection tool, which is that black arrow from your toolbox, I'm just going to click off both circles and then just select the top one, which is the orange one. I'm then going to hold shift and my right arrow key and I'm going to nudge it across 20 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, bang. And we now have our two circles in the exact position that we need. Okay, now they're a little bit off center, so just shove them across for the time being. We will line them up in the center of the page a bit better later on. Okay, so as you can see, both circles are overlapping. What we want to do now is cut out this middle section so we can start editing that alone. Okay, and the way we do that is we highlight both circles. Over in the Properties panel, go down to the Pathfinder section and hit the three little dots to just expand that menu. And under the Pathfinder um, section here, go down to the first one that says Divide. It's basically going to cut out these three shapes, so the red section, the middle section, and the orange section. So I'm just going to click on Divide. You won't see any obvious changes yet, but if you right-click on this shape now and Oops, might need to click on it, right click on it now, and ungroup those shapes, you can actually pull them apart. So you can see what it's done now. Okay, I'll just undo that quickly to bring them back into position. So we've cut our shapes apart, and as I said before, we just want to work with this center section where the two circles are overlapping. First thing I want to do is I want to change that color, so the fill color, back to red. So that CMYK red that we chose to begin with, that's the base color. If we look at the finished product, you can see that it looks like the orange circle is on top of the red circle, and we're looking through that orange circle to see the red one beneath. Okay, so what we're going to do now is select that center section, 
So just that red bit. Copy it by going to the Edit menu and selecting Copy, and then going to Edit and Paste in front. So we've now got two of those center sections, one on top of the other. Now, that one that is currently selected on top, we need to change that fill color back to the orange that we've got over here. So a quick way to do that is just grab your eyedropper tool from your toolbox and just click on the orange circle. Okay, so I know it's a bit hard to see, but we've now got this orange middle section and a red middle section. I'll just undo that. The orange one is currently on top. What we want to do is make it somewhat transparent so we can see through it to see the red circle beneath it. The way we do that is simply click on this orange one, head over to your properties and change the opacity here. And I've found that 40% opacity will work best for this logo. Okay, so zooming in now, just having a closer look, we've got the two circles of the MasterCard logo done. So if we look at ours, we look at the original, they look pretty much the same. Okay, so that's the first part done. Second thing we want to do is just add in this text down below. So the text we're using today is a font called Mark. It is a free download on the internet, so I will post a link in the video description, or you can just search Google for the um, font Mark, and you should be able to find um, the font you're looking for. So to put that um, text in, all we need to do is go to our Type tool in our toolbox here on the left. That's the Type tool, the letter T, and click beneath the circle somewhere and write in lowercase letters the word MasterCard. You can then highlight it and over in your character section here in the properties panel, change the font to Mark. Now Mark comes with heaps of different styles. The one we're going to be using is the Mark Medium font. Here it is here. The size of that font is going to be about 80 point. Okay, and the color is obviously black. That's looking pretty good. Now you can use your um, selection tool here just to move this around to where you want it, but I'm going to be a bit more specific than that. I'm going to try and get it perfectly centered on the page. Okay, so this is where we get a little bit fiddly. I'm just going to move the text aside for the moment. I'm going to highlight the circles in the middle here, so everything's selected. I'm going to right click on them and group them together to make one big shape. While they're still selected, I'm just going to go to my Align section here in the Properties panel. And I'm just going to horizontally align the center. I guess we could vertically align the center as well if you we wanted to. And that puts that shape smack bang in the middle of our page. You could do the same for the MasterCard text as well. Okay, so once you've selected it, go over to the Align section and choose Horizontal Align Center. If you choose Vertical Align Center, it's going to end up on top of these circles, but holding Shift and the down arrow key, just nudge it down somewhere beneath the circles like so. So let's have a look at that. That's the original. This is our copy. We're looking pretty good. Okay, so that is basically how you make yourself the MasterCard logo quite easily in Adobe Illustrator. Once you're finished, probably the best way to save it, um, if you're happy with it, is just go to Export, Export As, and make it a PNG file. That way you will end up with a transparent background. So I'll just call that MC logo and export it. A little box will come up, just making sure that you do want that transparent background. You can choose white if you prefer. Black won't look any good, so yeah, I'm just going to leave this transparent. Make sure the resolution is 300 pixels per inch, so it does print out at high quality. Click OK. And you are finished.